Hey everyone, my name is Sydney and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, give this video a thumbs up because that will definitely help out this channel in the long run. And if you're returning, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about things that I absolutely love about my Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. If you don't already know, this is little Slater here. He's, as usual, hanging out, chilling out, and he stole this toy from my senior dog, Mika, because he knows he's not supposed to have it, but I'm just letting him have it right now. So the first thing that I absolutely love about my Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is that Slater is super, super outgoing. He loves all types of people. He's not really sus of anybody, and he loves other dogs as well. I mean, I know Cavaliers to be outgoing dogs to begin with but when I first picked up Slayer I was like a little bit nervous if he was gonna you know adjust well with my dog Nika and all that stuff but like as soon as he saw Nika he ran to her started sniffing her wagging his tail and he even submitted to her as well so he loves playing with her whenever he sees other dogs he's so eager to go over there to them but obviously I'm training him not to just like run over to anybody but I absolutely love the fact that he's super super outgoing and and he loves anybody and everybody. So the second thing that I absolutely love about Slater is that he's fearless. He's not afraid of anything. Slater doesn't care about thunder. He doesn't care about the vacuum cleaner noise. He loves the snow. The first time that he ever saw the snow, he just like jumped into it and was just super excited to be playing in it and licking it and was just so curious of it. And he doesn't mind the rain as well. Actually, when it's raining, he'll go outside and just stand there. And I'm like, Slater, go potty. Like, what are you doing? But he'll just stand there and kind of just take like a shower for a minute and just slowly take his time in the rain. And he just puts his face up and it's just like, <laughs> Yeah, so he's definitely fearless and isn't afraid of anything. The third thing that I absolutely love about Slater is his head tilts. Do you guys know when you're talking to your Cavalier King Charles Spaniel? Because I noticed that a lot of them do it. I think it's a trait of the breed when you're talking to them and they do their little head tilts like that. I think it's so cute. It's like my favorite thing that Slater does. It's kind of like he's trying to understand what you're trying to say it's so cute the fourth thing that i absolutely love about slater is he's super super active he loves to go for walks outside he's just so curious of everything that's going on he loves playing he'll just keep playing as long as he can he plays with my senior dog nika all the time all day long but i'm also considering getting another cavalier because I've heard online that having two Cavaliers is actually a lot easier than one just because they are very, they're, they're just such an extroverted breed and having a playmate will make it a lot easier just because they'll tire each other out like all day long just playing and whatnot and yes he does play with my senior dog Nika but then again like she is a senior dog so of course she's not going to play all day long just because she's a little bit older and she gets a lot tired easily so I'm definitely gonna be getting a second Cavalier sometime soon I don't want to say when but definitely in the near future the fifth thing that I absolutely love about Slater is his curiosity so I don't know if you guys already know this but but Cavaliers they're very very curious of a lot of things and this can be a good thing and a bad thing I'll mention of the bad thing in another video but the good thing is that I just think it's so cute that they're curious an example would be if we're hanging out in the living room Slater will stare out the window for a prolonged period of time just like looking at people walk by looking at the birds the trees the cars he's just so curious that it will just keep him entertained the sixth thing that i absolutely love about slater is he, whenever i'm gone and he's home and when i come back he greets me like he hasn't seen me in years he goes bonkers whenever I come home. Like he's just jumping up and down. He's just trying to get hell. He's trying to get pet and he's making all these barking and noises. I just think it's so cute. Like I always feel so guilty leaving him when I'm either going to the store or running errands or whatever the case may be. And then I come home and he's just going crazy. Even if I'm gone for like 10 minutes okay i come home and he greets me like he hasn't seen me in years like he goes crazy i just think it's super super cute and it just makes me never want to leave the house the seventh thing that i absolutely love about slater is 
that he's very obedient when it comes to letting me do whatever I want to do to him. An example would be me giving him a bath. He will stay put and just let me wash him. He doesn't try to fight me with it. He's, of course, he's not afraid of the water or anything like that because he's fearless. But he'll just stand there, he'll let me, you know, shampoo, let me bathe him, he'll let me brush his teeth, he'll let me blow dry him out. If he has a mat, he'll just sit there very, very patiently and let me get the mat out. He will let me do anything he wants me to do. And I know that can be kind of a challenge for some dogs and it makes the experience even more enjoyable. Another thing that I absolutely love about Slater is he is very, very goofy. I don't know if this is puppy antics or I don't know if that's just his personality, but I just think he's hilarious. I mean, other people might not find it funny, but I think he's super funny. For example, if I'm vacuuming, right? You know how like some dogs are afraid of the vacuum? He will chase after the vacuum and bark at it. Like, I'm like, what are you doing? He just thinks it's so amusing. Like he'll just chase after the vacuum. And I just think it's hilarious. The ninth thing that I absolutely love about Slater is he's very, very affectionate. He loves cuddles, he loves getting rubbed, he loves being around people, he loves being around me, my boyfriend Paul. Especially at nighttime, I actually recently started letting Slater sleep in my bed, so right now he's not sleeping in the crate anymore. Just because I was crate training him and that was for his own safety, I know some people are against letting their dog stay in crates, but whatever works for your dog, works for your dog. A crate is not necessarily a bad thing. Everyone, you know, approaches the situation a little bit differently. But I stopped letting Slater sleep in his crate and I started letting him sleep in the bed or sleeping on the floor right next to the bed. And he honestly, he'll sleep right next to me and not move the entire night. And I think it's so, so cute because he just loves just you know being affectionate and cuddling and I just think it's so cute and then whenever I wake up in the morning he'll just lay there and kind of nudge me a little bit because you know it's time for him to go out and then he'll just go out and do his business I absolutely love sleeping next to Slater every single night and he's just so affectionate and all he wants is love that's literally all he wants just some love the last thing that I absolutely love about Slater is he is not a picky eater he will literally eat whatever I give him which is so funny. I mean, if you see my video of me talking about his dog food journey and what I feed him, he did go through a period of where he stopped eating one of the foods that I was currently feeding him then. But besides that, he's not a picky eater. He will literally eat whatever I give him. Even when it comes to his medication, for example, I know some dogs have a, you know, a hard time in taking their medication because they obviously don't like the way it tastes so a way to kind of like you know get around that is by putting some peanut butter on it or maybe some pumpkin but my mom's dog is very very smart what she will do is that she'll lick the peanut butter and then spit the medicine out so she kind of has to like force her dog to take the medication but with Slater he will take whatever I give him when it comes to like his heart medication he'll just oh thank you I'll take that when it comes to his multivitamin, he'll take that as well. I don't have any problems when it comes to Slater taking his medication, thank God. So yeah, those were just a few things that I absolutely love about my Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. I can just honestly keep going on, but y'all probably going to be tired of hearing me talking. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you will subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up because that will definitely help out this channel in the long run. I make new videos every single Monday and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys. I'm going to feed one of these to him right now actually. Oh, but then he's going to get crumbs all over my bed. Ugh. Okay, I'll just give one. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to give half to Slater. He's going to get crumbs on my bed. And I'm also going to give the other half to my senior dog, Mika. Do you want it or no? Because you're being weird. Here. I don't know if you can see her, but she's going to have some treat too. Oh, they both like it. Yay.